an area we work with a lot is the skin. So there's a couple of huge systems. And I always talk about these are always systems anyone can support, but these are systems that mold attacks. So talk to us about those systems. Yeah. So since we're affecting just that overall detox burden, mold does, and also the adrenals. So skin, just seeing rashes, particularly a couple areas of the body. So at the nape of the neck, on your scalp, it is dry, itchy, flaky scalp affecting the different lymph areas of the body, so armpits, groin, so forth. Particularly, too, around the mouth, we see more fungal-related rashes going on, and then also more so, I think, linked with the adrenals just being depleted, seeing skin presentations pop up on the hands. Yeah, I would say, historically, for a very long time, we've always talked about hand eczema, which is a really frustrating one, being super linked to stress and the nutrients depleted by stress a hundred percent. But I would say in recent years, I do see more mold as a contributor, but mold just really tanks those adrenal 